Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Diddy, and of course, happy birthday to my beautiful wife, um, yes, she became, I'm not going to say the age, of course not, but yes, she is the wife that every family needs to be able to go all in, that's the strong wife aside every man, guys. Now, uh, in this uh, video today, short view on the Bitcoin price, because everybody thinks that we are crashing to zero, I'm going to show you that we're not crashing to zero but something completely different now let's quickly jump into the charts i will keep it short do you see the bybit shirt over there guys this is the official borussia dortmund shirt but then with the bybit logo there's only 22 of these in the world and yes i'm going to do a giveaway soon so keep watching the videos sign up to the channel so you know and um, that you can win that one very soon but let's quickly jump now into some amazing charts over here This one is the first one. Oh, my face is completely wrong. Um, yes, this is the Bam Bam indicator. Um, we are looking today at a new style. This is a two hour chart. Look how beautiful the Bam Bam worked on the two hour chart. So we have the long over there, all the way to the short over there, which is beautiful, 9%. We have another uh, short from there to the long over there. It's not a 5%. And another long over here to the short over there. I'm just calculating like the, the, the moves, like 5%, 7%. And we would enter and exit the longs a little bit later, depending on the triple confirmation on the uh, down below chart, the yellow and the green, and the bam bam indicator there down below. But let's zoom out now to um, some more important charts, like this one, for example, the three day chart. Everybody is freaking out about the three day chart. Didi, the three day chart tells us that we are going to crash to zero. No, the three day chart tells us that we have crashed a little bit in the past, like a little bit, it's 50%. But the three day chart also doesn't look the same like it did at those times. Look, there was a huge distance between the green and the red line. Do you see this? That was because we had a blow off top in 2014. And the blow off top took that green line all the way to the top and then it went steeply down, crossing that red line that was already curving over. And the moment um, we had that uh, cross, that uh, maximum dread cross on the three-day chart, that was the moment the Bitcoin price was already a little bit going down, and then we fell another 50%. We wicked to 50%. The body closed at 35%, okay? Let that be very clear. There's a difference between the wick and the body. Uh, now, in 2018, we saw the same. Yes, again, a huge dis distance between the green and the red line, the green line coming steeply down, the red line still curving up a little bit. And then when they crossed exactly at that moment, we fell with 50%. That was at 6K to the 3K dop, uh, drop. Okay, that was to the body. Now, now we are again nearing a three-day dead cross, but there is not that huge difference between the green and the red line. That huge difference was there like at that first crash from 60 to 30k, but now we don't see that huge difference. And so the green line is not going steeply down and the red line is not curling over, yes, it's like still trending upwards. So if we calculate the wick at the moment, that's already a 36% drop. Can we drop a little bit lower? Yes, we can, but would that then also be the bottom of this bear market? That, that like not bear market feeling bear market in my opinion, but would it then be the bottom? Um, and would that not be the exactly perfect moment to buy Bitcoin? So to be clear, this is a three-day bear cross. And yes, it only happened two times before. And yes, the, both of the times we had a, a first time a huge crash, then a little bit smaller crash. And now again, maybe a little bit smaller crash. In my opinion, the crash is already in. Look, we already fell 36% and now we are crossing. And because we didn't have that huge blow off top, I don't believe we will have that huge crash. So that is my opinion. Now let's go into the weekly. The weekly, um, we can see that we had now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This has never happened in history before. Even seven candles had never happened in history before. So now eight red candles on the weekly has definitely not happened in history before. So that would be the first time. Uh, we of course still have six days to turn around this candle into a green candle. 
and then you would get the same movement that we saw over here for example red all the way up to green here means red maybe we go back up to green now the rsi we can see that that one is on the bottom over here so we could be turning around um, in my opinion guys we could in the future touch that 200 weekly moving average which now is at 22,000. this one is increasing with about i think 200 dollars every week so if we continue this line and we would touch it for example somewhere in august then we could be at 25 26k so for me i believe we still need to come up again then maybe go lower to touch that 200 weekly moving average like we have done in every uh, bear market before and then again build up to this new bull market now people asking me should we buy bitcoin now yes of course you should buy bitcoin you should stop doing this stop stupid uh, buying stupid shit and you start buying bitcoins like why for example if you bought bitcoin instead of a ipad mini you would now have three million us dollar because the original price of this ipad was 329 dollar and the release date was in 2012 you would have had 109 bitcoins so if you have bought bitcoin instead of that you would now be a millionaire and if you would have bought bitcoin instead of a anti-fragile whatever it is a book or something you would now have 50k and we can continue it if you would have bought bitcoin instead of a hoverboard you would now have seven thousand dollars like 0.25 bitcoin and um, if you would have bought bitcoin instead of a v version one tesla you would now have 20 million us dollar so in my opinion this will continue this is of course on the past but in 10 years time or in five years time we can do this again and then it will be again the same calculation so i would recommend now to start dollar cost averaging into bitcoin for example check the website dcabtc.com if you would purchase an amount of 250 dollars to and the left side every month for four years and you started four years ago you would have invested 12,000 us dollar that would be worth 50,000 us dollar but it would be a profit of 325 percent guys so yes, I believe this will continue the next couple of years again because we have four year cycles and we always go up. Uh, do we need to buy altcoins, Diddy? Uh, my answer to that one is very quickly, bam, over here, bam, over here. Um, this is the altcoin against the Bitcoin chart. Now, what do you see? We can see that the Bitcoin chart is the signal that has been trending up nicely, all the way trending up, trending up, trending up, and we will keep trending up in, uh, if you zoom out far enough. Um, all the all color lines is about 2,412 coins. Um, they create a lot of noise. They go up and down and up and down and up and down, but at the end, they are not making that huge movement that Bitcoin already has made. So for me, Bitcoin is still the king. I would invest as much as possible in Bitcoin. Bam. That was really everything for today. I'm keeping it short because I have a birthday to celebrate. Do uh, like the video. Do sign up to the channel because, you know, you can uh, win that cool t-shirt. This one, I'm going to show it. It's like um, Borussia Dortmund. But this one is with the Bybit, only 22 in the world. Uh, we are able to give one away with our channel. Um, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about my wife's birthday? What do you think about that amazing Dortmund shirt? Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.